We all know the importance of good dental hygiene, but did you realize that dental floss contains mercury, lead, and BGH? But you never hear that at the dentist's office, do you? It's always just floss, floss, floss. But then again, it's hard to see things clearly when you're addicted to nitrous oxide. with really bad hair, it's Sunday night. The night Todd welcomes Doc Lewis and hair care professional Tom McCarthy, plus the Sunday night band. And now, ladies and gentlemen, say hello to the host of your show, Todd Albaugh. Nice job. Absolutely fabulous. Our fine, fine Sunday night band. A wonderful, just a great, you guys. You sound, sound right on. Jeez, you know, I'm just, I'm back from a little trip uh, this weekend, as a matter of fact. Uh, uh, Kevin O'Connor and I went down for 91 FM Sports down to Columbus, Ohio, for the big uh, basketball tournament down there, the Capital City Basketball Tournament. We flew on uh, United, or we ended up flying on United, but we, we flew on American Airlines, and wow, those are some mean, mean, touching people. Is it me now, or is it just that time of month at American Airlines again? I know, I'm not even, I'm not even sure what that means. Uh, now, did you see this? Did, did you see this in the in the, in the uh, newspaper today, or maybe over the wire, over your evening news, if you will? Uh, apparently, now we almost had, almost had our 51st state. That's right. Apparently, Washington D.C. now trying to uh, trying to claim statehood. The uh, House representatives voted on it tonight, and they said no. Washington, D.C., under the uh, guise of uh, the state of New Columbia, will not become, not become our uh, 51st state. However, in a related story, University of Whitewater uh, uh, head coach of men's basketball, Dave Vandermolen, has his ego has applied for statehood, and if ratified, it would become our fourth largest state. So I think right there, I think, I think you got something there, our fourth largest state. Mrs. Vanderbilt had applied for an ambassadorship, but she was turned down on grounds that she looked a little bit too much like Elvira. So, anyway, and uh, finally, finally, of course, this is the uh, 30th anniversary of uh, John F. Kennedy, our, our, one of our, our most famous presidents, being assassinated uh, on the 22nd, uh, 1963, November 22nd, down in Dallas, Texas. Uh, John F. Kennedy revered and loved by many Americans, I think, but uh, of course he had his, his CD side. Uh, women uh, came after him by the droves. Apparently he, he had a drinking problem, uh, some lower back pain, and uh, some maybe on the side affairs that, oh, I'm sorry, uh, Senator Bob Packwood. <laughs> I, I don't even, anyway, we have a great show for you tonight, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, right now, say hello to uh, Tom Vandenhaven and our fine Sunday night band over there. Give him a big hand. Yes. Yes, indeedy. Wow, what a deal. Mrs. Vanderbilt and denied, denied access. That's too much like, too much like Elvira. Hey, how about those Badgers, huh? How about those? Was hey, one second here. You guys know on Wisconsin? A little on Wisconsin? No. How about everything's coming up roses? Do you know a little bit of that? Okay, well, you know. You don't pay him anything. What can you expect? <laughs> anyway, look at this. Look, look, look. On Wisconsin. We're set. We are set for the big uh, Rose Bowl. Of course, the Badgers won, won uh, Saturday over Illinois, as a matter of fact, uh, the Fighting Illini, and uh, Michigan pounded, absolutely pounded, the Columbus, Ohio team down there, uh, the uh, Buckeyes down there, Ohio State, and uh, wow, of course, Kevin and I were in Columbus, Ohio, and they were uh, Buckeye-rific, let me tell you, down there. Quite a deal. They're sad now, though. They're, they're crying now as the Badgers, <laughs> they're sitting there. You know, you turn on the TV and these guys are going like, oh, oh, oh. I have nobody to talk to tonight, as a matter of fact, because uh, Troy Everson 
on vacation this week. He couldn't handle it. He uh, he couldn't take the heat, so he got out of the kitchen. I guess. Now he'll be back. He'll be back on next show. I need a, I need somebody to talk. Tom. Tom, come on over here. Tom. You know, Tom Vandenhoven, our our fine band leader. Come on over, Tom. You know, put this. Did, now, did you watch the uh, you watch the big game this no, week? No, no, no. You did. What were you doing? Oh, I've been really busy. Think I dressed up like this? So I just just for I, you. You, <laughs> you look you look pretty nice. You're out dressing the host. What's the deal? Today? Well, uh, I've been playing uh, Belmont High School's musical Cinderella. It oh, was yeah? a lot of fun. Really? Yeah, Friday, Saturday, and this afternoon. Well, that's pretty cool. And uh, I got a bug out of here early to go play the orchestra concert tonight. Right. So. Well, good luck. Three gigs in one day. I wish it not. Did you listen? To, I, well, I suppose you did because you were doing this. But uh, of course, the Plattville Pine, the men's basketball team, went down to Columbus this tournament this weekend. Oh, really? Yeah, and they won the first game over Tusculum and lost the second one to Columbus, the capital team. And you know, it's not very often, as a matter of fact, I talk this way about a game. I mean, usually you don't like to leave or put the officials in it or whatever. But these officials were absolutely nuts. I mean, they were, they were, they were just, they were terrible. And we couldn't, if you listen to the game at all, and you heard us ragging on the officials and you say, what are they doing? We couldn't really tell it to you on, on the radio, show it to you on the radio, if you will. But I mean, these guys, all right, this is Ernie Peavy right here, all right? You're, you're, you're making, you're making, and here, here come these guys. They're, they're all over him. They're coming up here. You want to see, you want to see exactly how this is? Watch this. All right, what camera am I? I'm over, I'm over here. All right, I'm over here. All right, you are, you're one of the Pioneer basketball players. Here comes, here comes Capital. All right, they're coming, here. Oh, what, what are these? They give you one of those. They give you one of those, all right, just like that. And nothing, they don't throw any five. Now I'm talking like Regis Philbin. <laughs> Jeez, you got nothing. You never got a foul. You never got nothing. So, settle down, honor, Reed, settle down. It upsets me a little bit. So in honor, so in honor of all of that, in honor of all that, our, our basketball team did not, they, they, Ernie PV picked up all tournament player. Bo Ryan forgot one award, all right? If we can get a camera over here, I want to I show you this, all right? This is the Capital City Columbus uh, I Got Screwed Award. That's right, look at that. Can we get a close-up on that? Any chance? We do. All right, we do. You two are turning over here. Get a close-up on that. Vicki Ware, fine, fine camera person. Look at that, the I Got Screwed Award. Appropriately <laughs> enough with appendages attached. <laughs> Not even sure what that even means. <laughs> it was it was it was really it was really bad. I'm sorry to say. Well, I'm glad I missed it. But the pioneers, as per usual, a class act team, rose above it. Never got down and dirty in the fray. Bo Ryan, Coach Landrum, Coach Rainey. Although Coach Rainey got a little bit upset, I think you know. But uh, they they play like troopers out there. It was a fun. It was fun. I'm glad I went. Uh, I flew American Airlines. Oh, you did? That's have, what you're saying. Do you fly a lot? Uh, I've, I've never flown. Never, ever? Never yeah. flown. Not even when you smoke? That those, those things come out? No, never flown. <laughs> you don't even smoke, so how do you want my son? Uh, so anyway, but I, we flew American Airlines. Look at that. So we got, we got American Airlines tickets here. Where'd you go? To Columbus, <laughs> Ohio. <laughs> have you been paying attention? <laughs> wow. Just remember this. You're never so poor. That you can't pay attention. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, reminds me of the Saturday Night Live skit last night. Did you see that? No, I did. Ross Perot. Are you with me? Are you with me? <laughs> I don't think you're following me. That's pretty good. I think you got a career. In this. <laughs> Stick with it, there, man. Uh, yeah. So we're so we're flying American Airlines here, and you know I have to admit, so I'm leaving. I'm leaving the show. The show is getting canceled. I have found my calling, my destiny, if you will. I'm becoming a replacement. American Airlines <laughs> attendant. Look at this now. I've been studying up. They give you things to study. Look at this. Look at this here. All right, so take a look at this. Here we have the American Airlines card. Look at that, see? For your safety, please buckle your seatbelt. In case of emergency, your oxygen mask will fall in front of you. Grasp that mask firmly, place it over your head, breathe naturally. Your bag will not inflate, but oxygen will be coming through the mask. In the event that we have a crash landing, Please use your flotation device that, will be, device that will be found underneath the seat. Crouch it up towards your head and legs, and please stay calm. And now if we can get a close-up, I'll lay this down on the counter. Get a close-up on the bottom, the very bottom. There you go, whoops, a little bit. There we go, look at that, whoops. Trying to move it over. Can we zoom out just a little bit? I want to get that whole yellow thing. There you go. 
It says, please do not remove from airplane. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, whoops, careful there. So I've got that. And also, uh, we're going to, I picked up a great idea for the show. Um, what is that? Funny you should ask. One more. Look at this. We're going to have, we're going to have beverages now and uh, drinks, this type of thing. Look at that. Here we have the American Airlines beverage card. <laughs> they gave that to me. Is that unbelievable? They just gave it to me. Are there Twinkies on it? You know, they, they don't have Twinkies. <laughs> Maybe we should have asked that. Anyway, there we go. Nice, nice work, you guys. All these camera things are doing a great job. Um, and you know, how we, you know, Tom, how we always seem to, our cameras always seem to follow people everywhere. Just when you wouldn't expect it. Just when you think that you've seen it all on CNN. You tune in to Sunday night and it's something you do. I, I'm afraid to see this. <laughs> because because no, we have obtained no, secret no, footage no, now. No. We, we did not fly American Airlines. As I said, we got our United passes right there. They changed us over to United. And this guy was an idiot. He looked like, he looked like Gomez Adams with a bad haircut or something. And he comes over. <laughs> and Now, this is serious. I'm serious. Bo Ryan takes the team over to United Airlines. The, the uh, travel agent and everything had taken care of the arrangements and switched us over to United. I got my ticket booked, all right? Rebooked on United, like that. I put it in my pocket, just like this. Kevin have, having some problem over the American Airlines thing. I, the United guy comes from behind me, rips out my ticket, <laughs> and says, we're not flying there. <laughs> anyway, we ended up flying on, on United. But we obtained secret footage from American. Oh, this no. is what our flight would have been like. Here now, from American Airlines Flight 472 from Columbus, Ohio, until O'Hare. Here's what happened. Roll it, Russ. Watch this. It's a doozy, let me tell you. What's going on? We have a right to know the truth. All right, I'm going to level with you all. The most important thing now is that you remain calm. There's no reason to panic. Now, it is true that one of the crew members is ill. Slightly ill. But the other two pilots are just fine. They're at the controls flying the plane, free to pursue a life of religious fulfillment. What kind of plane is it? Oh, it's a big, pretty white plane with red stripes and curtains in the window and wheels, and it looks like a big tile and all. In a moment, we'll ask you to assume crash positions. Your life jackets are located under your seat. Place the jacket over your head. And when I give the word, pull the cord on the right side flat. Oh, oh, isn't that cute? Your seat cushions are also equipped with a flotation device. All right, now, everybody, get in crash position. Okay, all right, have a nice day. Have a nice day. Thank you for flying American. There you go. There, <laughs> there you have it. That is what would have happened had we flown. On American. You pushing the people out of the plane? <laughs> trying to get them out. <laughs> anyway, we're going to... Tom, you're doing a good job over here. Troy may be in danger of losing, losing a spot. Oh, yeah. Anyway, you've got some people you're going to introduce before we go to a break real quick. Uh, actually, uh, why don't we take a break, then we'll come back and introduce okay. the people. Okay, all right. So we will take a quick break, and, uh, well, geez, our camera people are right on top of things here. So maybe we'll actually introduce them. Go ahead. All right. We're very lucky tonight. We have two special guests, uh -huh. Dr. Michael Lewis on the trombone. Raise your hand there, Doc. Look at there he is. Like they wouldn't know what the trombone is. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, I got to see it. I, got, I had to get you back I for know. that. Yeah. Where'd you go? <laughs> and Rob Martin on trumpet. Thanks a lot, guys. Hey, nice, nice job. Nice, uh, it's nice to have a trumpet. It, people are wondering what the world, all that crap is behind our, our band set. Telethon is, is coming up here in a couple of weeks on TV5, the uh, Badger Camp Christmathon. So our set's a little disarrayed in the back, but uh, we're, we're glad. We're glad that. Uh, Badger Camp's coming up. Are you guys going to play for that? Probably, yeah. All right, that's it. I hope a, so. It's always a good cause. It seriously is. And uh, hopefully you will, t will tune in. It's the 4th and 5th of December right here on TV5 Live. So uh, Mark it on your calendar. Mark it on your calendar. Tom, thanks a lot for coming over here. Well, thanks for having me. We are going to take a break. Uh, stand by, Doc uh, and uh, the band. And we'll take a break and be right back with more Sunday night in just a minute. He was right here. He was here for one of these. <laughs> Hey, 
thanks to these airbags here, this job is now a piece of cake, Larry. But then... Yeah, I'll tell you something, partner. I just might stick around a few more years. But then... No more dashboard du jour or vents under glass, huh? But then... Look out! <laughs> There, bags, Vince. You still got to remember to buckle your safety belt. Now you tell me. You could learn a lot from a dummy. Buckle your safety belt. You're going to be better than me, Christopher. I can see it in your eyes. No one wasting your life on something you hate. Not for my son. You're going to college. I can see it in your eyes. I can see it in your eyes. You are going to do something important, Christopher. Time for work. We've always had the dreams. Now we have the means. Please, support the United Negro College Fund. Welcome back to Sunday night. And uh, in our show, there are two main exits for your convenience. If the plane should go down, please use them and be familiar with them. If you're seated next to an exit, it is your responsibility to help the passengers get out safely. If you do not think you can handle this, please notify a flight attendant, and he or she will seat you in a proper other designated area. Also be around beverages later on in the show and uh, those cute little peanut packages. Anyway, uh, well, here it is, folks. Look at this. Here it is, the front page of the State Journal. I got off the plane this morning, and uh, look at that. Uh, everything's, everything's coming up. Roses and lollipops. Everything's coming up. Roses. That's right, for the Wisconsin Badgers. Anyway, there it is. Wisconsin Badgers doing a fine, fine job. Of course, we have our, uh, our Wisconsin memorabilia, appropriately. A rose. A rose for you and a rose for you. Yes, indeed. Anyway, so I'll stay out here as our Wisconsin stuff rolls on. And uh, I'm looking over here at the, at the monitor. You know what? My, my hair's getting a little bit long. I just, I, I know, I just... Would you, would you mind? I feel like Mr. Rogers. Neighbor, would you mind if I use the phone? <sighs> this will just take just a minute, just a quick minute of your time. Yes, yes, uh, eighth floor. Yeah, that's right. No, 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 no. I'm not ordering any Kentucky Fried Chicken again. No, uh, I, I just want to, my, my hair care professional, his office is up there. That's right. S send him down. Yes, my hair care professional. All right, he'll be right down. All right, thank you. Very nice. Hair care professional. Tom McCarthy on the way. Uh, what else is what else is new? Of course, uh, oh, one correction we wanted to make. I erroneous, erroneously said that uh, Wisconsin Badger Camp coming up uh, on the 4th and 5th. It's the 3rd and 4th. So it's uh, Friday and Saturday, right? Yes, Our producer, Clark Jilston, doing a great job. The 4th and, or the 3rd and 4th, 3rd and 4th, fourth Friday and Saturday. So mark your calendars for that, a very good cause, and uh, support it. I know I'll be running around here like a chicken with my head cut off. And, of course, the men's basketball team plays that night on the 5th, the Saturday, the 5th, against Whitewater. So mark that. Oh, speak more appropriately, more uh, closer to home, uh, the men's basketball team opens up their home uh, season schedule this Tuesday night here, 7.30, the game time. It's poster night against Judson College. And uh, look at this beautiful poster. You will get free. Of course, students get free admission to this thing, and uh, if you're a community person, you have to pay a little bit. But uh, if you come to the game, you get this free, beautiful, lovely poster. Look at that. Isn't that great? Bull Ryan, of course, it's Bull Ryan's 10th uh, anniversary with the Pioneers, or 10th season with the Pioneers, and celebrating that with a commemorative poster coming up Tuesday against Judson. You know, oh, look at this. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, he's fast. He's quick all the way from Richland Center. He gave me my first haircut, and by God, he'll probably give me my last. Ladies and gentlemen, Tom McCarthy, my hair care professional. <laughs> how are you doing? Come up, come right around here. You know? Oh, 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 oh. So how are you doing? Wonderful. Nice, wonderful. nice, nice to see you. Nice to see you. Why don't we, uh, you know, put this on you here? Alrighty. All right. And you know, oddly enough, I think we could change the set around here. Just bear with us here, ladies and gentlemen, just a moment. I put that down there. All right. Whoops. Okay. And uh, 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 you know, I should have taken a little bit of fitness training this semester. <laughs> ah, boy, I tell you. All right. We'll put that down there. And we'll, while you go ahead, I, I believe you brought, you brought your hair here. <coughs> Professional sure equipment with you. Thank you for the limousine. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> we try to provide that. Now, don't tell, uh, don't tell uh, 
any of other guests about the limousine because we didn't give them one. All righty. So should I take my, my jacket off here? Yeah, and All loosen right. your tie a little so we can really make you look good. I usually don't wear a tie when I come in to get my hair cut, do I? No, no. Now no. this is, this is legit. People are going to think we just like found you like in Rui or something. <laughs> but you, Rui or Riwi? <laughs> but yeah, is this too high? Well, it is right now, but let's see, <laughs> let's see in a minute here. Because, you know, you gave me... Who's that other guy you used to have in, in the shop with you? He looked like, uh... I don't know, he had like I a goatee. Brian, Mc, Brian was his name. Brian? Brian? I think he actually gave me my first haircut, because he used to cut my dad's hair. That's right. And then he left. And so, of course, I... Now, should I lower this a little bit? Can you lower it? Sure, of course. That's... Right there? A little more. A little more. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's okay. <laughs> looks, right. about, looks about normal. About normal? All right, beautiful. Ready? All right, ready. Uh, there we go. Beautiful. This is wonderful. So, uh, what's new back in Richland Center, the old hometown? Well, it's just the same, Todd. You know things that are never changed too fast. <laughs> <laughs> they may be getting a tavern downtown, which would be a real unusual That, that upset a lot of people, didn't it? Oh, yes. You know, yes, we, have, we have a lot of little old ladies in Richland Center who are really sweet, sweet people. But, uh, you know, they get all bent out of shape. Richland Center used to be the only dry town in Wisconsin. That's right. Until what was it, 85? 85, I believe that's and, right. And we went, now we're the uh, driest wet town in the state of Wisconsin. That's right. We have no bars downtown. Maybe I could I get you to come down just a little more? Oh, sure. Just, just a tad. Okay. Good Is that enough. all right? All right. There we go. Yeah. All right. Nothing worse than a bad hair day. <laughs> that's right. And I was having a bad hair day. That's why I, wanted, that's why I called you. Uh, so, yeah, just, just the usual. You know, okay. off, well, off the ear a little bit. So, beautiful. So, uh... So yeah, so the so we're going wet now downtown maybe. Right, burger and a beer. Burger and a beer. <laughs> uh, Tom used to be on the city council. Yeah, that's right. Uh, he was the city council president. Anything yep. new uh, as far as city government goes? Well, uh, they'll be having an election coming up here again in uh, in uh, April. Uh huh. And. Uh, We'll see what's uh, happening there. I had uh, coffee with a friend of yours, a good friend of yours, uh, Senator Schultz, Senator Friday Schultz, morning. Really? Right. How's he doing? Well, just fine. He and somebody in Kelly sent their regards. Oh, yeah, Kelly. She's a fabulous babe. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she's, uh, she's, one of the, uh, she's one of the people that work in the office down there. I know her well. And, uh, you know, Sly was on the program from IBA, oh, WIBA. Right. And uh, now that a kind word, our fine senator. Oh, is that right? And you know what? And most people that know me know that I, I did work for him for a little bit, and uh, I had the greatest respect for him, of course, but uh, Sly was kind of ripping on him over here. Sly <laughs> was kind of ripping on him a lot, and I didn't say anything. I just let him go. You know, I, he, he uh -huh. called himself a pinhead and some other things, and, you know, I figure we try to keep the show bipartisan here at town. Sure. We try not, not to show. So if a guest wants to rip on anybody, I let him rip on anybody. I try not to uh -huh. say much. Uh -huh. You know. I see. So, uh, any other big news back home? Well, I can't think of too much, Todd. It, you know, things are, things are not the fast pace that they are in Platteville here. <laughs> I know. Now, uh, how about those Badgers, Todd? Wasn't that fantastic? It was great. Did you get to see the game? Yeah, I did. We were in Columbus, Ohio, you know, for most uh -huh. of the weekend. Oh, and it was on ABC. And it was on ABC, so uh, I watched until about, oh, I guess, it just started the fourth quarter when Kevin and I had to leave. Uh-huh. But uh, just... Wow, Fantastic. Ohio State really looked sick. I saw the game, you know, the Michigan-Ohio State game. Uh -huh. looked absolutely terrible. Uh -huh. No, I thought the Badgers played about a perfect game. Yeah. So what do you think, Tom? Do they go to the Rose Bowl? Yeah, I think they do. What about this uh, sushi bowl thing, the Coca-Cola bowl in Japan? That's just nuts, I you think. You mean the, the Badgers going there? Yes. I mean, yeah. here they have a chance to wrap up the Big Ten, a chance to go to the Rose Bowl, and what happens? They take him off to Japan. It's amazing, isn't it? What a dollar will do. I, I, two years ago, you know, they, of course, they were nothing. Right. They said, oh, a couple of bucks, then we'll go over to Japan. I guess it's going to be on ESPN Live at 10 or 10.30. I just see that in the paper, right. That'd be good. Yeah, That's I'm looking good. forward to watching that. And then, of course, they go out to Pasadena if they win, and probably yep. San, San Francisco or San Diego, I don't know, if they lose the Holiday Bowl. Well, what do you think? I think their chances I are I think very... they go. I, I, why do you think I got roses on the set? I, I'm telling you, they're... <laughs> The Rose Bowl bound. Uh huh. So Tom knows some Spanish. He's taking a Spanish course. Si. Como esta? Bien. He too. Ah, bien. <laughs> Mi español es a poco malo porque 
No ah. mucha que practica para mí. Ya. Yeah. Lo siento, uh, señor. Uh, ¿Cómo? I, I saw a video of you in, uh, on tour in El Salvador. Really? When did you see that? Oh, that in was, my Spanish class with, oh, and, oh, with yeah. your friend Silas. With my friend Silas. That's right. I went down to see his country, El Salvador, and just meet his family. And uh, wow, that was a cool, cool trip. Nice video, by the way. Who was <laughs> really? the can? Well, you know, that's the kind of stuff they teach you here at Blackville. <laughs> anyway, uh, so is there an art to this, Tom? Is there an art to this? Yeah. You, how long have you cut here? How many years? Oh, boy. 31. 31, 31 years. years, yeah. Hard to believe. Yeah. So uh, do you go to school for this or what? Yeah, there's a, a vocational school program through, uh -huh. through the, through the yeah, state vocational. Well, that's pretty cool. Well, uh, I tell you, we're going to take a break right now. And uh, when we come back, we're going to have uh, the band playing a number tonight. Doc Lewis and uh, our whole band over there uh, going to play a great number. So stay tuned. We'll be back with uh, more Sunday Night and Tom cutting my hair in just a minute. <laughs> Okay, attention asthma and allergy sufferers. The following demonstration will show you how to avoid sneezing, wheezing, watery eyes, and other discomforts associated with your condition. Okay, Joe, ready when you are. First, shut out all industrial pollutants. Don't expose yourself to cigarette smoke. Avoid exhaust fumes. How you doing, Joe? Good, good. Don't breathe in any dirt. Don't breathe in any dust particles. Uh, let's see, let's see. Um, Pollen. What? Pollen! Oh, right. Avoid pollen. Thanks, Joe. Tree pollen and grass pollen. Don't be around ragweed. Uh, get rid of all animal hair. Oh, gee, I'm sorry, Joe. Anyway, stay away from moles. Don't breathe the air on hot days. Uh, boy, this must be difficult, huh, Joe? You know, there is another way. There are treatments available, and they work, Joe. You should find out about them. With the right treatment, asthma and allergy sufferers can all breathe much easier. For free information, call this number. And we are back with more Sunday night as uh, my hair care professional, Tom McCarthy, continues to uh, chop away at my hair. You know, I've never had good hair, Tom. Remember when I tried those permanents for a while? Yeah, I remember those, Todd. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never forget them. I came, I, came into, I came into Tom's with a stocking cap on my head because I was so embarrassed. Cause I, you know, from now, guys get perms all the time, you know. But <laughs> I try to get body in my hair, and finally I've just said, screw it, you know. I just let it go. Uh -huh. Anyway, uh, uh, a, lot of, a band that has a lot of body, a lot of heart, a lot of soul is our fine, fine Sunday night band. And right now they're going to do a fabulous number for They sound great tonight, too, with the two extra guys. And I'm, I'm happy because they, they take each every Sunday night out to be here, and they don't get paid a darn thing. And uh, we really... We really we appreciate it, guys. Thanks a lot for being here again. Tom Vandenhaven and the Sunday Night Band. Give them a hand, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Thank you. 
Nice, nice job, guys. Nice job. Thank well, you. Introduce, uh, introduce everybody again. Okay. We've got time here. Rob Martin on the trumpet. Uh huh. We have Dr. Michael Lewis on the trombone. Dan Troke on the bass. John Crinky on drums. Uh huh. And Mark Siegenthaler tickling the ivories. For hey, tonight. just absolutely wonderful, you guys. Super, super job. I, the trombone thing was wonderful. I, <laughs> I've almost done my haircut. Back with uh, talk to Doc Lewis and more after this on Sunday One, night. Coming up next, two. more rolls on. All right. Endangered species? I have a sick child to worry about. You know, the willow tree gave us aspirin, the rosy periwinkle treatments for cancer, and the octopus makes a chemical to fight high blood pressure. 
But what miracle drugs will never be found if the species that provide them become extinct? Species extinction? We've got our hands full trying to feed our family. Food crops are made more bug and disease resistant by crossing them with wild plants. That can mean lower prices. Look, I got a business to run. Well, that wax he's using comes from the carnauba plant. And simple seaweeds benefit all kinds of businesses with ingredients for paints, fire extinguishers, and hundreds of foods. Fact is, there's something in nature for everyone. With countless species in jeopardy and more than a hundred becoming extinct every day, can we really afford not to protect them? To learn more, call the National Wildlife Federation at 1-800-824-WILD. are back to Sunday night. Yes, Clark Chilton, the ninja paper over there. Our fine, fine floor, floor director and uh, producer, Clark Chilton. Hey, uh, Tom, I hear, let me see the old mirror. The proof is in the pudding. All right. We'll give it a Here, Tom. Hey. Wow. I uh, didn't break it even. Stand there. Nice job. Wonderful. Thanks a lot for coming down here. You bet. And, uh, you know, I stop on up to Thomas Barber Shop Personal Center because, you know, I Coach Kinder, our football coach down here, he was saying how, I don't know, he pays like 12 bucks or something like that for a haircut. Tom, Sounds good. Five, yeah, five seventy-five. That's still a price. Still a price. Or is it still? Has it gone up at all? No, not yet. <laughs> five seventy-five. So uh, hey, you can't beat it with a stick. Let me tell you, Tom. There you go. Here, there's a little tip for you for coming down all the way Jeez, to Plattville. Thanks, Todd. You do a, you do a great job. So uh, we'll see you back at Richland Center in maybe three weeks or so. Alrighty. For for another do view before Christmas or whatever. Anytime, give me a call. <laughs> have have clippers. We'll travel. <laughs> Tom McCarthy, ladies and gentlemen, give him a big hand. Yes, indeed. And uh, you go right out the old exit here, and uh, we'll take care of the, the stuff after the show. Okay. Is that all right? No. All right, yeah. we'll take the microphone from you. I probably should take that off, huh? Whoops. I think so. A little, a little mixed up, but we're all right. We're fine. Thanks, Tom. You're doing, doing a great job. Okay. Always, always great to have a haircut here on the show. Once again, Tom McCarthy, take care. We'll see you, <laughs> see you later, huh? Absolutely uh, wonderful. I feel a bit more refreshed. All right, as we uh, kind of uh, clear the set here a little bit, and uh, uh, just un momentito, senor. Wow, look at this. That's kind of fun. I feel like I'm in a rainforest. Our plants could probably use a little, a little misty. Look at that. I think we found the answer. Our plants are starting to wilt over there. I think we have finally found the answer. Show me horticulturist. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was that was a Letterman thing. I can't I can't even believe I've stooped that low to copying David Letterman. I'll stop here, Clark. Take your take your Wisconsin jacket. It's his. It's not my. I wish I had one. These producers are getting paid way way too much money. I'm going up now. All right, my next guest. And oh, I forgot to tell you. If you'd like to find out more how to be a, become a barber or study the art of barbary in the United States culture and history, you can read more about it at your library. Check out over the thousands of books uh, about barbering and this type of thing. Read more about it at the library. My final guest this evening, ladies and gentlemen, you've already heard him play. He's a fabulous, fabulous trombonist. Ladies and gentlemen, please say hello to Dr. Lewis over there. Here he comes. <laughs> Doc, how you doing? Again, we see you again. Oops. You might sit right down there. We'll give you a, give you a mic. And, uh, geez, I can't tell you how happy I am to have you on the show tonight. That's well, great to be here. And uh, now you've been at Plattville, what, about four years? This is my fourth year. Four years? Right. And uh, teaching, how many ensembles, groups do you kind of oversee? Well, I oversee four groups. I've got, uh, we've got two jazz combos that I direct. And uh, mm -hmm. this, of course, is one of them, the uh, uh -huh. fine Sunday night band. Sure. And uh, the uh, f fuzzy green... <laughs> Pachyderms, the as funny, they're called tonight. Fuzzy green pachyderms. <laughs> and then uh, we've got another combo, too, that uh, studies jazz improvisation and two big bands that study the art of performing big band music. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, that's great. Now, you guys have a concert. That's one of the reasons you're here. Can I plug one that of the a reasons bit? I'm Why don't here. we go ahead and talk about that? Right, that'd be great. The, uh, we have a concert with our Jazz Ensemble One and uh -huh. our Combo One, the fine sure. Sunday night band, uh -huh. on Tuesday evening at uh, 8 o'clock in the CFA. All right. And in the concert hall, and we'd like to have everybody come and, and hear us play. Uh, a price for a that for people? Or just price for that. We've got a tremendously high price for this ticket. Uh, <laughs> 
Zippo. It's, it's free. It's a free concert. It's nothing. Yeah, free concert. We perform for your listening pleasure. Wow, that's And cool. we'd love to have everybody come out and hear us. I know. I, one of the reasons I, I know I came to you uh, this year is I went to, I can't remember, is this concert or the spring one? I heard you guys play, and I, I of course, you play concert. for uh, uh, Schwarzen, what is it, Schwarzenegger, Schwarzenegger, Schwarzenegger Day? Schwarzenegger Day, right. <laughs> Arnold always makes an appearance there every year. And uh, you guys are just fabulous. The, the Jazz Line Thank 2 you. groups Thank in the you. whole. And uh, I just said, geez, we got to have that kind of a sound on the show if you want to be successful. But, well, we really uh, appreciate that. It's great to hear the jazz music, you know. Yeah, it it's really Amer is. It's America's classical music, America's only contribution to mm -hmm. the world of artistic music, and uh, jazz is, and uh, we're really glad to uh, be able to play it for you here. And, you know, contrary air. to popular belief, uh, I had an opportunity when Branford Marcellus was here last year uh, performing to interview him. And, uh, you know, jazz music, I think, according to Branford, is really one of the hardest musics to play once you really get into it. I mean, you look and see these rock bands or whatever, I mean, you know, I'm sure it takes something, I guess, a strum a guitar and, and can't understand what they're doing. But to play the, the, the patterns and everything in jazz really takes a lot of practice. What's happening with jazz is jazz is never the same twice. Uh, there's no, there are no set patterns. You go out and you're improvising a solo. You're making it up on the spot, and it's... Uh, you know the sky's the limit. Any mm -hmm. note, you know, any note works somehow. So uh, it uh, it takes a tremendous tremendous amount of work and tremendous amount of dedication to do that. Jazz musicians are among the most dedicated musicians in the world. And did you play in, in any kind of uh, bands and do some gigs uh, when you were younger? And how did you get your education? That no, I've d I've done a lot of that type of thing. I played uh, I played with Natalie Cole on the road. Really? I played with. Wow. Uh, uh, Joe Williams and Clark Terry, who was on the, the oh, Sunday wow. morning show, the Sunday end of with Charles yeah. Corralt. Uh, Clark Terry was on there. It was great to see him. He does a, he does a thing up in Lacrosse every year. Really? Yeah, and yeah. Uh, played with drummer Louis Belson, I guess. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, well, what are some of those fun. people like Allie Cole? What's she like to work with? She's beautiful. Yeah. Well, got she to, is got beautiful. To, <laughs> really beautiful person. Got to hang out and talk with her, you know, a lot. And she just come and chill out with the band and uh -huh. shoot the breeze, you know. Wow, that's, yeah, that's really neat. neat. So do you kind of bring some of those experiences then to the students? Oh, sure, here yeah. Yeah, it, it, it makes, uh, uh, it, I think I have more to offer teaching because I've had those great experiences, you know. Sure. More to offer the students. Well, that's really neat. And then, so you have the uh, concert coming up Tuesday, then anything else uh, after that, or? Not this, not with the jazz this year. Well, we have, no, that's not true. We have jazz two and combo two will have a concert on okay. uh, December 7th. We'll do that with the Singing Pioneers, the men's right. course. I'll be cool. Yeah. You need a haircut while you're here, Doc? I mean, we no, I, I, I kind of like the fuzzy look, you know? Okay. <laughs> you know, the fuzzy pack, green pachyderms, you know? Sure, there you See, go. I epitomize that. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, Doc Mike Lewis, thanks so much for joining us. It's been a pleasure having you here tonight, and uh, we'll be at that concert on Tuesday. Great. A big uh, Thanksgiving kind of a treat, huh? Thanksgiving treat, lots of turkeys there. That's right. Thanks a lot, Doc <laughs> Lewis. Uh, Doc Lewis uh, here with us on Sunday night. We'll be back to wrap, wrap things up here in the tooth again after this on Sunday night, so stay with us. That new dummy cam is great. Yeah, it'll sure give people a whole new outlook on what it's like when you don't wear a safety belt. I think they'll get the picture. You could learn a lot from a dummy. Buckle your safety belt. Tony has some drinks, a few joints, and got into a fatal accident tonight. Only he doesn't know it yet. Drugs make you forget. And if you forget how risky sex can be, you could catch the AIDS virus and not know it for months, even years. AIDS, another way drugs can kill. <laughs> we are back here at Sunday night, uh, and uh, boys enjoy it. Uh, you know, you go to a barber, and Tom is pretty good about this, but you go to a barber, you know, and you're sitting there, and you always get those hairs right there, and they always, like, they give you here, but they never give you there. But Tom does a good job at that. Well, I just get to see it right there. I'd like to thank my guest, hair care professional Tom McCarthy from Richland Center for coming down, and also Dr. Mike Lewis, and our entire Sunday night uh, jazz band over there, the Fuzzy Green Pachyderms. Don't forget, we take two Sundays off from a live performance. We'll have shows on, but there'll be reruns for two weeks. Next week, of course, Thanksgiving weekend, the week after Telethon weekend. Then we're back on the 12th with our last live show of the season. And let me tell you, it's going to be a doozy. We've got some good things planned. Watch the orange, blue, and your papers and your radio and whatever. 
We'll have all kinds of uh, media on it. And so until we meet again, my friends, next time we see each other, we'll know, is it a trip for the roses on Wisconsin? We'll see you in two weeks on Sunday night.